Now you have to remember, I live in Google. There's no electricity. I'm doing all this correspondence by candlelight. Even when I started dating later on, I, I don't go for candlelit dinners. I hate candles. An outstanding writer, teacher and humanitarian, Sindiwi Magona grew up in a township near Cape Town in the old South Africa and has become a symbol of the new nation. Born in 1943 in Gungalulu village, she worked as a domestic, completing her secondary and undergraduate education by correspondence, before going on to gain multiple awards and accolades, as well as further academic advancement. Her important novels such as Beauty's Gift, plays like I Promised Myself and numerous other contributions to South Africa's cultural life are all informed by her experiences of impoverishment, peaceful resistance to subjugation, love of children and contemporary women's issues. Combined with her work for the United Nations and as community leader, she has achieved a position which even in retirement she uses to promote her heartfelt concerns. We speak with Sindiwi in Cape Town to enter the world of South Africa's famous Zosa writer. I think I started writing out of the realization of how much we didn't know in the country about one another. It made me sad it made me angry, and, but it also gave me hope that with better understanding there would come some form of reckoning, reconciliation. I don't give up the hope that South Africa has yet to emerge a great nation, a united nation, where everybody just identifies as a South African and loves the country so much that they want what is best for the country. Difference. There's nothing wrong. There is difference. Difference is real. We like to say children don't see difference. That's a lie. Children see difference. What will be wrong is if you put a notion in that child's mind that difference means anything other than difference. Who wants to read about your stupid life? You are not famous, nothing. You were not on Robben Island. You didn't kill anybody. Who will want to read about a, a, an ordinary life? Then I had a brain wave. I thought, you know, the people who go around the world digging up things that were used, you know, a long time ago. I thought, well, in 2,000 years, maybe there will be no apartheid. The country, and people will want to know, what was it like to live through apartheid? Then they will find my manuscript. So I wrote really, that's why the first book is called To My Children's Children. I really wrote for posterity. I didn't think I was writing for people today. And because of that, I had no inhibitions. I wrote so honestly about my life, what's and all, the good things and the not so good things. Ideas come from newspapers, from TV, from radio. They come from what happens around a writer. Writers write about life. Observe, observe, observe. And also, I don't think I couldn't. I know I couldn't. If you don't care, I don't think you can write. I write about things that move me. Either they might make me very sad or they make me damn angry. Otherwise, why would I write about them? including the story of my own life where I didn't have to do any research. <laughs> yeah. Now, when I started writing, I tell people, during the day, there's a lot of interference in one's life. But when you sit down at one o'clock, you can pretend, at least I do. I know it's not factually true, but I can, when I started writing, I can tell myself, the whole world is fast asleep the goddess creates. I write for children. I love writing for children. I have more than 120 
maybe 130 children's books in English. I made them up all by myself because that's what fairy tales you know, and, and folk tales come from. They come from life and observations like songs and nursery rhymes. Those are all from lived life. I've seen beautiful cities, but if, if, if everything were completely available to me and you asked me where I would like to settle, it would still be Cape Town. You know, you look at our mountain, you look at the sea, you, you have to believe there is a higher being, there is a God, there is an Allah, there is whatever you believe in. <laughs> <laughs>